Okay, there's one more mental percent trick that I'd like to show you um, because it occasionally comes up and students don't know how to deal with it. So the ones that I want to look at right now are 33 and one third percent and 66 and two thirds percent. These seem like really mean um, percentages to most students. They think, well, of course there's not a trick for this. I'm going to have to do this the long way. And so I'll give you an example problem. A student will take a look, they'll see something like, oh, what is 33 and one third percent of 15? And they'll say, okay, I hate fractions. So the first thing my student will want to do is turn the fraction into a decimal. So they'll divide it out in their calculator. They'll say, okay, one divided by three is, and then they find out that when you do one divided by three, one third is the same as point three 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 three, and it goes on forever and ever and ever. And so if you wanted to do math with this, you, well, I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to pretend like I'm this student. Then they would translate the word of, as many of you guys know, the word of directly means multiply, and they get 15. And this is the kind of problem they're looking at if they want to do this the traditional way of doing percents. And there's something that's going to happen with this problem. No matter what you do, you'll never get a perfect answer. Because 33 and one third percent converts into a decimal that never ends, Obviously, we can't do math that never ends. We have to round our number somewhere in order to do math. And the sooner we round our number, the less accurate our answer will be, and we'll never get a perfectly accurate answer. So is there a way to get a perfectly accurate answer with this? It turns out there is. Even though 33 and 1 third percent isn't a very nice decimal, it's a gorgeous fraction. Now, I know you guys hate fractions. You think they're harder, but I'm telling you, for multiplying and dividing, fractions are the easy way to go. Um, decimals are only easier when you're adding and subtracting. So let's take a look. Let's imagine 100%. Turns out, if you divide 100% into three equal parts, you'd get about 33 in each one. 33, 33, 33. But you know, 33 and 33 is 66. Add another 33, you're up to 99. We still have one left over. And so we break that one into thirds. One third over here, one third over there, and one third over there. Meaning that if I broke 100% into three equal pieces, each one of these would be worth 33 and one third percent. Meaning that even though it's a hideous decimal, it's a lovely fraction. 33 and one third percent is exactly equal to the fraction one third. And as we've been talking about before, if you're just breaking something into three equal pieces and taking one of them, that is equivalent to dividing by three. I could just divide by three instead of multiplying by one third or multiplying by 33 and one third percent or multiplying by this big nasty ugly decimal, I can just divide by three. Way simpler, way simpler. Okay, so. Let's now try some problems now that we know this. Let's do that original problem we were looking at. 33 and one third percent of 15. Instead of multiplying with this big log ugly decimal or even multiplying by the fraction, I'm just going to divide by three. 15 divided by three is five. One third of 15 is five. Let's try another one. Let's do 33 and one third percent of 60. 60 divided by 3 is 20. Shortcut way. Instead of taking 33 and 1 third percent, I just divide by 3. Okay, what if it's not so simple? Let's 
I'm trying to decide what to do, make sure it works out for us. Let's find 33 and 1 3rd percent of 216. I can't divide that by 3 in my head. I'm going to use site division because uh, I'm su so super lazy. If you don't know site division, that's a cheap plug for my other video. Go watch my site division video, y'all, and you can divide in your head too. So 3 goes into 21 7 times perfectly. 3 goes into 6 2 times perfectly. So 33 and 1 3rd percent of 216 is 72. Very nice. Um, let's do that one more time. Probably just so I can show off my site division and what happens if it doesn't work quite so nicely. Uh, let's do 33 and one third percent of 552. So again, the trick, this is just a third. So we're just going to divide by three and I want to divide by three in my head. So three goes into five once, remainder two. Uh, 3 goes into 25 8 times, remainder 1, and 3 goes into 12 4 times. If I divide 552 by 3, I get 184. Again, cheap plug for my site division video. Go learn how to do that. You can be a ninja like me. Okay, so there we are with 33 and 1 3rd percent. So you may be wondering why I chose to group 33 and 1 3rd percent into the same um, video as 66 and two thirds percent. So in order to explain that, I wanted to bring you back to this wheel. So remember that 100%, if I break it into three equal parts, um, each one of those would be 33 and a third percent. So let's grab up a highlighter and look at what happens here when I take two of those pieces. One of those pieces is 33 and a third percent. The other one is 33 and a third percent. What if I put those two together? Do you feel what's coming? And because there are percents and percents, I can add them. Just like I can add apples and apples, I can add percents and percents. Of course, 33 and 33 would give me 66, but a third and another third would give me two thirds. So basically what I just learned here is that if I take 100%, I break it into three pieces and I take two of those three pieces, two out of three, um, uh, that will give me 66 and two-thirds percent. So let's conclude here that 66 and two-thirds percent is equivalent to two-thirds. We're taking two out of three pieces. Okay, now that we know that 66 and 2 thirds percent is the same as taking 2 thirds of something, let's practice the lazy way to take 2 thirds of something. So I want to do 66 and 2 thirds percent of 9. I'm just going to take 2 thirds of 9. So first of all, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to break 9 into 3 equal pieces. I'm going to need to take 9 and divide it by 3. Of course, that would give me 3. But remember, 66 and 2 thirds percent um, is the same as two-thirds, not just one-third. So I need two of those. I need to take that three that I got and I need to multiply by two. By two. My uh, hand was going straight to the answer. And that, of course, would give me six. So two-thirds of nine is six. Now let's try it again. Let's pick it up a little faster. So I want 66, two-thirds percent of 30. So I'm going to break it into thirds. That'd be 10 and double it. Uh, again, 66 and 2 thirds percent of 18, I'm going to break it into thirds. I'm going to divide by 3. That would be 6, and then I'm going to double that, 12. 